Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, having an update on this 20 long here. Um, was a uh, African river themed aquarium for a, uh, for a hot second. Um, but that quickly uh, changed a little bit as I uh, wanted to start getting into uh, some aquarium plants. Uh, why not start uh, with a small um, sample size in this 20 long here. Uh, I added uh, more sand. I kind of made it a little, little deeper than I usually do. It's about maybe two and a half, three inches deep. Uh, I also uh, added in some, well, I made my own DIY root tabs from this stuff here. This uh, Osmocote, uh, this is uh, some fertilizer for indoor and outdoor plants. And I also picked up these here. Uh, these gelatin capsules. I got these from, I believe, the vitamin shop. And I kind of just made my own uh, root tabs. I put about 12 of them in here. So they're uh, scattered about in the substrate. Um, also added in some, some catapa leaves uh, in here. So let's go over, uh, I guess, uh, a few of the uh, well, I only have a couple plant species in here, and I added some some of those pet smart bulbs. Uh, as you can see in the corner over there, there is a uh, a onion bulb, I believe that one was, and right there is the uh, water lily. Uh, they've been in for about I say four or five days now. Uh, I'll say three, four days. Um, just waiting to see if I uh, see any uh, action going on. See if they start to um, grow. Um, I also have some other bulbs in here as well, uh, scattered about behind the rocks over here. Uh, I added in another uh, diamond tetra. I mean Congo tetra. Uh, my other male has a uh, missing eye, so I uh, saw that guy at the pet shop and decided to get him. Um, males are absolutely beautiful. Hoping to get some breeding going on somewhere down the road of these guys. I would love to have a, a big school of these in the future. But uh, back to uh, some of the plants that I have in here. Uh, I also I picked up some of these. Uh, this is called a Scarlet Temple. Uh, I believe it's uh, the scientific name is the uh, All Altherni Altherni Altherni. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure I'm screwing the names up, uh, but it's known as the Scarlet Temple uh, or Cardinalis, I believe. And as you can see, I have some smaller species in here as well. Pick those guys up from those little packages that they have at uh, PetSmart, uh, just to see if they grow. A lot of videos I've seen, uh, it's really hard to get these plants to grow without uh, any CO2. I'm also dosing with some flourish, so. I'm hoping I can get these plants to uh, grow. Um, I also have some um, Wendetti in here. Um, it is uh, the red uh, Wendetti, the crypt, cryptocrine red Wendetti. I have it kind of planted, scattered about uh, in the front here. So I'm hoping to get this side to kind of just you know, a few months down the road to kind of just fill in. And I think that will kind of make this tank look pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, I'm also going to add a, uh, a background on here. Uh, pick that up. Uh, pick some cardboard up. It's a black cardboard. I'm not going anything fancy. 
I'm gonna use something cheap. Uh, I added it on that, that tank, the 125 as well. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm, I'm hoping to, uh, you know, get, get this Scarlet Temple to take off. I haven't lost any leaves since I planted it, so I'm hoping that's a good sign. Um, I had another stem plant that I was planting in uh, my African Sigma tank and in my 125 down there. Uh, there was another stem plant that really didn't, really didn't do too well. Um, like I said, I wasn't sure if I had a lack of nutrients and the substrate wasn't deep enough. So I kind of uh, eliminated both of those issues from this tank. So I made sure the substrate was deep enough. Uh, make sure the uh, substrate has nutrient and is nutrient in the water column as well from the flourish. So I'm hoping that within some months time that this tank uh, is able to uh, look a lot much better. Uh, and I'll give you guys an update on my Crebenzis in here. Not sure if I have, I'm for sure I have two females. I'm just not sure uh, if I have a male in here yet. Um, hoping to get some breeding out of those guys in the future too um, with the Cribs. Uh, but that's it guys, quick update, uh, nothing special. I uh, appreciate you guys for all the support uh, for my last video from Losing my convict civic. A couple of you guys uh, personally wrote. I uh, want to thank you guys for keeping my spirits up, keeping everything going, keeping everything rocking. And as always, see you guys in the next one. Peace.